For my first attempt on the right side, I ended up trying to complete the 2017 through 2020 objective uh, on this side and full transparency, uh, I did not get the objective because uh, it was bugged. Um, so once the bugs are fixed, this team will probably work. I'll make sure to pin this in the comments just so you are aware of it. Um, so I didn't actually get a point from this, but here is how you would do it whenever it actually does get fixed and things actually work. Um, but anyway, this video is mainly focused around Angela. I used Claire for this onslaught, which I don't really think is a great matchup, but it was legitimately the best option I had um, because I had like no options in those years for onslaught. Um, and Angela is going to be the star of this video for sure because she is going to solo two of the fights and I'm going to mess up on one of them, but she just does a really, really good job for this stuff. And uh, yeah, so if you can just find a better onslaught counter in those years than this, uh, you're probably going to be having a really good time with subjective because yeah, Claire, Claire does not do good for this fight. It's just she's not metal, so she can work. Um, so I'm just kind of coping with the fact that she works. Um, so anyway, the goal here is try and just throw a bunch of sp2s uh, in the um, incinerate phase but also never finish your combos in medium because if you incinerate them you die uh, and we don't really want to die so uh, we throw the sp2 does some nice burst damage and such and that's kind of just what you need to do in this fight uh, mystic dispersion is going to help you get more power because of that armor up you're constantly nullifying so, I don't know, I sped this fight up a lot because she's very slow, um, just because it's Claire, she doesn't really have very good damage, um, but she did a pretty good job for this fight, uh, I just wouldn't suggest ever using her, uh, so, anyway, uh, Onslaught's at 36% now, I'm gonna die pretty soon because I finished my combo on accident, and, uh, yeah, there it is, uh, I placed an incinerate and I'm like, oh crap, I'm dead, yeah, that's, oh well. So, anyway. Uh, we're gonna revive her really fast, and I'm gonna heal her a little bit with those potions. And then we go back in, and uh, we're gonna die pretty soon again, just because uh, because I hate Onslaught. I, I hate this fight. It, I really don't like it at all, but uh, whatever. We, we have to do it anyway. And then he blocks my SP2 somehow. So that's cool. I guess I was late on throwing it. It's fine. Anyway, now I need to go for an intercept, and then I accidentally parry. That's the, my least favorite thing about this fight, is when I accidentally parry trying to dex, or when he parries me trying to counter my special. And uh, once you get the daunted, it's like, oh, the fight's over now, that's crazy. Anyway, uh, we go back in, one more revive, and then the onslaught's gonna go down. Again, try to find a better counter than Claire. If you have better non-metals, I'm sure there are better options than Claire out there. Uh, she's just legitimately like the only thing I had. Uh, just because I don't have a very good diverse roster that is non-metal in those years, apparently. It's all good. Uh, we made it work. So, anyway, he's down. And then we're gonna fight Annihilus next. So, um, Annihilus, you can solo this fight. This was the one I died to. I'm gonna solo the other two fights with Angela. Um, you can definitely solo this fight. I just was ignorant in some ways of the fight. Like, forgetting how he goes unstoppable sometimes like there and just hitting him in the unstoppable like dude I should not be messing that up and then they're just getting hit by his sp1 I could just play this really bad this is so so definitely so lowable like there I'm just dead like I played so bad um but anyway we're gonna go for another revive and uh yeah we're gonna do two this fight and two revives and then solo the next two so uh, I'm probably gonna have like the title of the video like Angela rocks for the uh, for this objective and such and she legitimately does like just play better than me and you're fine um, Because I've just turned off my brain for this fight for some reason Anyway, uh, I forgot that he only goes unstoppable when I dash back and he has a stifle on me So like there hey, I dashed back and went for an intercept and uh, yeah, it didn't really work. So that's cool uh, I throw my sp1 here uh, the heal block is a little bit annoying because of Angela's regen Which we can't really take advantage of because her regen is really nice uh, it's just you can't really use it here because of the heal block, so it's a little annoying. But um, either way, I need him to throw his SP1 now, and uh, he doesn't feel like it. Uh, there he finally does, and I get caught by it somehow, so that's cool. Uh, I should have just blocked it. I don't really know why I didn't, because I usually just block it. 
Anyway, we dropped the SP2 here. He's gonna go for his SP1 again, and we're gonna get the parry. I'm gonna try to counter it. I get the counter, luckily, and uh, I'm gonna not counter there. Uh, in the next attempt, I'm gonna actually do a light attack to where I can get the correct spacing to counter him, and then that's gonna feel a lot better. So, uh, there we go. Get the parry, and I uh, go for a nice intercept. Gonna drop my SP1. And uh, yeah, we just need to get the parry there. Uh, and now we're going back in. We're doing a bunch of damage. And at this point, I'm gonna die pretty soon. Uh, we get the parry there. And let's see what's gonna happen. Uh, it's still going well. I thought I died a lot earlier than this, but maybe not. Anyway, yeah, like this fight is definitely soloable. I just, if I used my brain, it would have been fine. I don't know why I wasn't. Um, but let's see. We're doing just really nice damage. Angela's damage is just super solid, man. And we don't even have armor breaks here, so uh, that would help a lot, obviously. Uh, I could have gone for the counter. Yeah, there we go. Um, I got hit. So, anyway, uh, we're going to revive her one more time and then just completely destroy the last 350k of his health. So, um, yeah, I really wish I settled that fight, but it's all good. It's not a big deal. Okay, so we're going to go back in. And uh, then we're gonna solo the. We're not gonna use revives for the rest of the quests. So, um, who else is on my team? Elsa Bloodstone's on my team. Uh, I didn't use her. Um, I could have. I could have used her for JJ, but I didn't need to because Angela is going to absolutely destroy JJ, as you're gonna see pretty soon. Um, yeah, you don't need Elsa to do this at all because I didn't use her. So, uh, anyway, uh, we are starting to do damage now because we triggered buffed up. Uh, we have the relic buff helping us keep a lot when he keeps armor breaking us, so that's nice. Um, definitely run the Thor relic on Angela, it's super, super helpful for her. Um, but there I mess up, it's alright, still have a good bit of health. Uh, I dropped my SP1, and no armor breaks of course, but that's okay. Uh, we just go for the counter there, and yeah, this fight's gonna go down pretty soon. Uh, hoping for a bit more crits on my basic attacks, because Angela definitely does a lot more damage when she crits than when she doesn't. Uh, crit on the heavy there, and then we get the counter. You can see now I'm doing like the light attack counter, because I started getting more comfortable in the fight. Um, and that's just going to help me actually counter the special attack a lot more. Uh, so we drop another SP1, uh, get another Fury, go for an intercept there, and he is just about dead. The SP1 is going to kill him. Yep, it does. So. Yeah, totally soloable, just play better than I do. Um, next up we're gonna fight Gwenpool, and I did this fight um, with Angela when it first came out as an objective. Um, I think it, the objective was like use a 2017 champ, and Angela's like my best one, so uh, it's really good, she does a good job. She's not the fastest here, because her special attacks don't really hit that hard, it's her basic attacks that hit hard. And uh, I probably could have done different rotation to have a much better for performance by going for an SP3, um, which is going to give me an aptitude and such. Um, I probably should have done that, but it's all good. We're still going to be able to do pretty well with the uh, rotation I'm going to do here, which is mainly just SP1s. I weave in a few SP2s uh, just to gain a precision, but I wouldn't say you need to. And there I got hit because uh, inverted controls messed me up, but it's okay. Uh, we get the imminent death thing off of me, and then we're chilling. Uh, we have, we eat another special attack, dude. I don't know how I ate so many special attacks. Uh, but that was literally the last mistake I made in this fight. Like, I'm pretty sure it goes super cleanly from here on out. Throw a special attack, it doesn't really do damage because I didn't have prowess, but now I do have prowess, uh, so we're not too worried about that anymore. And these special attacks are going to start doing some decent damage. Uh, nothing crazy, because again, her specials don't hit too hard in general, it's the basics that hit really hard. Um, but it's fine, just keep dropping them and keep having a good time, so. Anyway, we go back in, and uh, I'm gonna eventually start ramping up precisions. Um, or just a precision, because that's gonna help me get crits on the special attack a bit more, which is definitely important here. So, uh, yeah, we got a precision there, and we do some nice crits on the special too. And uh, I'm just going to keep using that precision and doing more damage with my special one now. Uh, we're even hitting pretty hard like with uh, the protection active. Uh, just because three furies and that precision, man, it's like she still hits really hard. So that's nice. Um, 19k crit at the end of that special. 
it's really just a rhythm at this point of managing invert controls, which I've said this a lot, but the easiest way to manage invert controls in this fight is just throw your special attack when it's going to transition, because then you're going to have your brain mentally prepared for what you have to do um, after it switches. Like, if it's going inverted into regular controls, uh, I want to time my special attack for when it's going to transition, because once my special attack ends, I know exactly what to do, and I don't have to make a change mid-combo or something. And uh, same vice versa, so. Uh, this also is really helpful if you do it with the Relic, um, because the Relic is just like, almost like a special attack in this scenario, when uh, once it ends, you can retrain your brain to what you need to do. So yeah, that's my tips for dealing with the fair controls for this fight, because it did catch me a lot, and uh, eventually started trying that strategy, and it just helped out me a lot, so I hope it helps you guys out too. Um, Gwenpool definitely going down slowly but surely. Uh, if we get special attack crits, it feels a lot better. I think, did I go for precision after here? I might have just stopped going for precisions, but no, I'm going to go, no I'm not, I'm throwing an SP1, never mind. We might go for another precision, I don't really remember. Uh, but again, I think I might go for an SP3 um, before I do a bunch of SP1 spamming just to get the aptitude. And uh, the aptitude would just help my fury potency and such a lot, so uh, that might be better. Uh, I, again, I did this fight before. I don't remember what rotation I used. I feel like in the back of my head I might have gone SP3s, which is why I'm thinking that it might work well here. Either way, uh, you just want to... You just want to make this fight in a rhythm to where you're not going to get caught by invert controls. That's the more important part. Uh, because if you just do this fight slowly um, but safely, then you know, you're going to be able to solo it. Because uh, the hardest part here is obviously the invert controls. And if you know how to manage it correctly, which is just something that I've gotten practice with by throwing my special attacks during the transition, then you're not going to have too bad a time. Obviously, invert controls is still hard to deal with even for me, but um, still this made it a lot easier doing it that way. So uh, she's about to die, I have to deal with her uh, sig ability, meaning I can't kill her with a special, but still, uh, she's dead now. So there we go, that is the Gwenpool fight. And then last up is the Jessica Jones fight, which dude, this fight went so fast, like Angela just is so good for this fight. Just because all of her damage just comes from doing some really nice yellow numbers with those Furies, and you're getting a bunch of cruelties from Combo Shield, and you still have a precision when you don't uh, get the precision from the node uh, to make your damage higher, so yeah, she's just so good for this fight, and you're going to see that right here, because this is going to go really fast. Um, so anyway, the, anyway, the goal here is just counter JJ's special attacks, obviously. Uh, because then I'm gonna get the grit, and the grit is really important in this fight because uh, I can't deal with her unstoppable otherwise. So uh, she keeps throwing her special ones, and I just need to go for the counter and chill. So yeah, uh, we want to go for an intercept a couple times too, obviously to get that guaranteed crit buff. So there, like 25k mediums with the protection up, like dude, she hits so hard. Um, so let's see what it looks like in just a second. I have two furies right now. Uh, 17k light attacks, 35k mediums, gonna go for a heavy right here, uh, remove another protection, that's a 59k crit at the end of that, like, it's so nice. Um, <laughs> like, yeah, her damage is just so good, dude, I love Angela so much. So glad I ranked her for war, and she's just working out for a lot of other pieces of content. Um, so I'm gonna hit her right there, and now I need to counter her special. She throws it, and we get the special counter right there. 40k medium now. Like, the damage just keeps going up and up with the combo shield stuff. Like, 42k mediums. Like, she's just so dead, dude. Like, that... I love Angela so much for that fight. So, yeah. That is going to be how I took the 2020... Uh, or 2017 through 2020 objective on the right side. Again, you don't get points for this. I'll pin it in the comments and stuff until they fix it. Once they fix it... Yeah, Angela's just going to do a really good job, and hopefully you find a better onslaught counter than I did. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.